Overpopulation and atomic wars have left America an irradiated wasteland. Mutants, criminals, and exiles roam the cursed earth, fighting and warring against one another in the ruins of the old world. What remains of civilization persists in the last megacities, enormous metropolises in which hundreds of millions live, work, and die amongst an endless urban sprawl. Outside the walls of the megacities, there is no law. Inside Megacity 1 are the judges of the Justice Department. The rampant spread of crime within Megacity 1 has left little room for assumptions of innocence or lengthy trials. Those granted the title of judge are expected to act as officers of the law and fulfill the role of judge, jury, and executioner. Criminals apprehended are tried and sentenced on the spot, either sent to isolation blocks or put to death. Judges are the product of years, often decades, of training. They are selected from promising children as young as five or cloned from gifted individuals. Within the Academy of Law, potential judges undergo rigorous physical and psychological conditioning, trained to use a wide variety of weapons and vehicles and restricted from traveling outside the Academy in order to maintain absolute discipline. Typically, cadet judges will only leave the academy to journey across the cursed earth, where they test their skills in actual combat. Those who survive are appointed rookie judges. Rookies must undergo assessment by a more experienced judge before any promotion, an assessment in which the majority typically fail, relegated to auxiliary duties or expelled from the Justice Department altogether. Various divisions and bodies employ dozens of types of judges. Major organizations within the Justice Department include the Public Surveillance Unit, responsible for monitoring the activity of every citizen in Mega City One through an elaborate network of surveillance devices, DNA records, and computer systems, the Special Judicial Squad, which investigates internal corruption as part of the department's internal affairs, the Wally Squad, which operates entirely undercover, hidden among the destitute in Mega City One, and many others. The vast majority of judges, however, are assigned to the Street Division. These officers are responsible for various territories across Mega City One, maintaining the law by any means necessary. The typical sidearm employed by the Street Judges is the Lawgiver, a voice-activated machine pistol capable of utilizing a variety of ammunition types, ranging from armor-piercing to incendiary. Street transportation is provided by the Lawmaster, a heavy-duty motorcycle equipped with sophisticated weaponry and communications equipment. Street judges are occasionally augmented by specialized units, tech judges, judge pilots, riot squad judges, and perhaps most notably, psi judges. Psi judges are capable of utilizing remarkable psychic abilities, able to enter the minds and determine the location of missing targets. For most of their existence, the judges themselves have been led by a chief judge and a council of five. These individuals administer complete authority from the Grand Hall of Justice, and as their power has waxed and waned over the years, sometimes perform the duties of the central government for the entirety of Mega City One. The judges are the law in Mega City One, but they are not above it, and are treated with far less leniency than the average citizen. A crime that might earn a citizen a sentence of a few months in solitary could mean years or even execution if committed by a judge. Despite this, corruption within the judges is not uncommon, with powerful crime lords and drug dealers often attempting to buy their loyalty. A judge reaching the age of retirement is a rare thing within the Justice Department, but those who complete their term of service are offered a choice. Either be placed into an administrative or teaching post, rejoin the common citizenry, or instead, take the long walk. A judge who takes the long walk is sent into the cursed earth, expected to never return, but die bringing law to the lawless. Within Mega City One, a dozen serious crimes are reported every minute, 17,000 every day. Judges can respond to only 6%, and a lucky criminal might go years without ever meeting a judge or staring down the barrel of a lawgiver. 
For those 6%, however, there can be no hope or escape. For in Mega City 1, the judges are the law. The Templin Institute investigates alternate worlds and realities. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to directly support us, vote in polls to determine future topics, and receive some cool rewards, please consider pledging to our Patreon page.